Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do the eyes slash glass text effect in DaVinci Resolve, so let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve we're now on the edit page and first off you're going to need to have a clip because we're going to use that as the background of the text but also we're going to use that as the composite for the text itself. So once you got your clip, just cut it uh, to have the length of the duration that you want to use. Then you can just right click on it to create a compound clip and then you can right click on it once more and create a new fusion clip. Now let's move over to fusion. Here we have the media in which is our video and then we have the media out. I'm just going to go here and change my viewer to put it in full screen. And with my media in selected, I'm going to do shift space to open my select tool window and search for transform. Then I'm just going to hit enter to just bring that transform node. I'm going to hit shift space again and hit enter once more to bring a second transform node. I'm just going to give some space here for another node that I'm going to bring here. We're just going to do two branch basically. So here I'm going to take a merge node and just bring it down there link the output of the transform one as well to the merge two and we're gonna leave it like this for now now i'm just gonna bring a text node into my working area and i'm gonna leave the output of that text one to the transform two i'm just gonna create a second merge and here i'm just gonna go to the text one write ice change the font for montserrat switch to black and here we're just gonna increase the size to the maximum then I'm going to select my merge tool and here we're going to switch the operator mode from over to mask and it's just going to put that video that we have right here into our text. Now let's unlink the output of that merge tool and we're going to take it and link it to this merge and then we're just going to link the output to the media out. Now as you can see it looks like we're just back to the original footage and that there is nothing happening but if we go to transform right here and we switch the size as you can see, we're able to now modify the size inside the text, and that's what's gonna create the reflection look inside the text to do that ice text. Now that the heavy lifting is done, we're just gonna tweak a couple of things to make it look nicer. The first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna move here that merge and the text one. I'm gonna select my transform two, it shifts based on my keyboard, and here I'm gonna search for blur and I'm gonna hit enter, and that's gonna bring that blur node. Now I'm gonna switch the blur size to 2.5 and here it have to just blur out the inside of the text to make it look like really we're seeing through glass or we're seeing through highs. Now I'm gonna just make some space once more and here I'm gonna select my text one, I'm gonna copy it and then here I'm gonna right click on my working area and paste instance. Then I'm just gonna link the output of the instance text to that merge. And essentially right now we just created the exact same text but uh, just the difference is that now we don't have the video in that text we're going to use that to create some border around the text so here i'm just going to go over to shading and i'm going to de-instance a couple of things here i'm going to right click on opacity and de-instance it i'm going to right click on appearance and de-instance it and i'm going to right click on types and i'm going to de-instance that as well now let's switch the appearance from fill to outline and here I'm going to right click on thickness and I'm going to instance it as well and we're going to switch here the thickness for 0 0.05 maybe yes I think it's good now let's switch from solid to gradient and then we're going to change the opacity here to 0 0.2 and at the very last step, I'm going to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to select that merge, hit shift space on my keyboard and search for drop shadow. Bring that in. Here I'm going to adjust the shadow strength so it's not as strong. I think I'm happy with that. It just helps to make the text pop a little more, as you can see right now. Now you can play around with those elements, the transform, the blur, here the edges and the drop shadow to really get what you want. But that's our final uh, eyes text result. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.